council section, um, we have Mark Knockert, who's town clerk for North Stoke Town Council, and tech councillor Carla Ross Sabria. Um, hello, hello, Mark. Hello, Carla. Over to you. Good evening. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll start off and then hand over to uh, councillor Carla Ross Sabria. I'll quickly share the PowerPoint. One moment, please. Um, Okay. There you go. Hopefully that all works for everyone. Um, that's why I wanted to start. With. There you go. So yeah, um, today for the town council, we have a quick update on three key items that are currently in the planning or very important for the town council and the community. Uh, I'll quickly talk about the upcoming town council elections have, a, have a, uh, uh, information about the Jubilee weekend in June, and then hand over to Councillor Carla Possebria about the developing um, developments towards a market for Northstone. So first of all about the elections. Uh, on the 5th of May, there won't be just uh, district council elections, but also town council elections. So we really, the town council really want people to come forward from the community who are passionate about the community, really wants to make this an even better place to live, work and play. And so the joining, uh, or, yeah, together, working together over the next four years to make this happen. And um, there are currently 15 seats, 15 councillors making up a town council. So all seats for clarity, they're up for elections again. This time it will be for a four-year term. So in May last year, the town council was four, was just done for one year, but now it will be um, for a four-year period. What you would have to do if you're interested is go to the South Kent's website, specifically around uh, for the elections that's on the screen, and there's a nomination form to be filled in, and there's lots of instructions there how to fill it in correctly. And the key to notice that that nomination form has to be handed in in person at the South Cambridge District Offices in Camborne on working days between next week and Monday the 28th of March up to the 5th of April by 4 p.m. in the afternoon and there, there will be no exceptions to that. Um, one can make an appointment to, uh, to when we want to hand it in and that's that's recommended as well so the email is on the screen to um, if you want to do that. I can also be, as town clerk, I can also bring the, the, your nomination form in on your behalf. You can email me as well. I've got hard copies if you want, but if you can't, print them off yourselves. Um, so on the screen, on Thursday, the next week, Thursday, between 6.30 and 7.30, as well as Friday morning, between 10 and 11, I can um, take your filter nomination form I cannot check the nomination form, just be aware, it's really uh, would be your responsibility, but I can be the courier bringing there and it will be checked by the district council and I, I can make sure that it's then handed over properly. Um, and this is just a general call as well that if you are not already registered to vote, please, please do so because obviously it's very important that uh, even if you're not standing for elections, you are going to vote, that we would really encourage everyone to do so. And um, there's some really good information about the elections and uh, finding out if, what, a, what being a councillor means on the NALP website. On the, we've got some information uh, on our town council website as well, on the news items. There's quite a lot of links there. And please contact me as well by email or, or through the website. You can find other ways of contacting me as well if you've got any question at all about this. And now quickly about the Queen's Jubilee, the Town Council uh, wishes to lead on uh, an event and working really with a lot of community groups and individuals to make this a, a really special event during the Queen's Jubilee weekend in, on, and, and focusing on the 5th of June. So a working group of a number of councillors uh, is working hard to get a package together and has already started talking to lots of groups. And you see some information on the screen about the uh, long standing district heritage society north Star arts uh north Star social their um, food um, food trucks north Star foodies 
potentially be involved, sustainable North Stoke. And uh, we really want people to come forward with more IDs and really making this a bring your own street party, a lovely pl- time to share things in, in a nice time of year, hopefully. Planning to do this uh, near the wing on the uh, busway, hopefully, or in that area uh, to be confirmed. So watch this space for more information. We will share it uh, with the community as soon as we got a, a more detailed plan. And with that, I'll, I'll hand over to uh, Councillor Carla Brossabria for the next bit of the presentation. Thank you, Mark. Um, I hope you can hear me well. Anyone from the panelists can confirm, yes? Okay, good. So good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me. I'm going to give you a, a quick update on the work that we have been doing within the Events and Markets Committee uh, in developing uh, a market. So, so the Town Council, uh, we are looking at uh, establishing a regular market in Nosto, and we set up a, a working group to, to work on that. And the first step uh, that we thought was, was crucial to do was asking the community of what actually, what do we want to have? So, so that's why, why I'm here to talk about. So the market survey. So we launched the market survey um, to, to gather the interest to see whether people want a market. And if so, um, whether it will be a really frequent market or, or just once a month, uh, we want to uh, ask information about the type of products and stores that would have, uh, whether there are preferences in terms of location, indoor or outdoor, and other uh, comments like uh, site facilities and also other, other comments that, that people might have on uh, ideas. So we launched the survey uh, online in mid-February. Uh, and we also uh, distributed uh, a paper copy to all the households. And that should have landed with you beginning of March. Uh, and an important point here is that the survey will close on the 27th of March, which is really soon. So you have just like five more days to, to give us your input. So I really urge you to do so. So on the next slide, we will see how the survey looks like online and also on the paper form. So if we can see the next slide, please. So there you go, how to access the online survey uh, here is the link, but it's also uh, available in the Nostal, in the Nostal, in the Town Council website, in the news pieces. There, there will be the link uh, there, and there are um, some posters around the community where you can use the QR code or the link. And, and the, the benefit of using the online uh, survey also is that you can actually use translation tool if English is not your first language like you can use the translation tools from the, from the browser, so that's something. So we have, um, on the right, you can see how, it, how the online survey looks. And as I said, these, uh, the items I mentioned before, it's the main questions, it's really short, but try to keep it to the point. And, and here we have also a picture on how the paper version looks that you should have received at home. And, uh, and you can drop it at the community wing, there is a, there's a box there by the entrance. So if you still have your copies in there, bring them to the wing. Uh, I believe on Friday, um, there will be community developers, officers there. So you can bring it there if you still want to, to give us your input. So now next steps, after we gather all the intel and the views from the community will be what to do. So actually, I, I'm really pleased to, to report that we have had, as of today, more than 500 replies. So that's, it's really encouraging, like that it's been really engaging. So we're really happy with this. Uh, but after that, we will, we will have to sit down and, and look at a, a concrete plan and business plan. And based on the input that we've had from, from the community. And then we'll have to um, take the next steps and, and look at um, 
what paperwork we need to do. We have to liaise with stakeholders and we have to um, do a lot of, of work, the working group and the, the committee and then pass on the council. There are many things that need to happen. And we might, I mean, the aim is to be able to pilot a market in the summer, but we will have to pass the button to the new council because as Mark just said, we have elections in May. So we'll have to, we'll try to get everything ready as much as we can before the term ends. And I would, um, I would like to thank especially uh, the community development officers and, and the business development team in South Cambridge District Council. They have offered a lot of support in, in, in this process and they are continuing to offering, uh, not only in the survey, which they have, um, South Cambridge has, has facilitated, but also in, in, in lots of information and guidance on, on how to set up a market, which is not, is not an, an easy task. Um, we will also be looking at this preparatory work and how we can link this and how are the relation, um, the coordination or the vision for phase two, um, just to have some thoughts on that. And, and, and also if there are going to be any temporary infrastructures for the community. So we will we'll also have to bring this all together. But that's it from now, just um, promoting the survey, give us your views, and that's an update. And if there are any questions, happy to take them. Thank you, Carla. Um, 500 responses so far. That's pretty good going, I would say. Um, very good. Um, OK, thank you, Carla, and thank you, Mark. Um, questions for on any town council business? Um, there's one from Mike Oxlong. And it is, are there any inside venues being explored for the market? Okay, shall I, I Carla, yeah. Yeah, shall I take this? At the moment, yeah, we are keeping all, all doors open. We haven't um, done any steps forward into looking at particular places, but we have um, maybe the school in mind that we like some, some facilities that could be used for indoors indoor venues if we had an indoor market. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna give a few seconds just to, in case there are anybody frantically typing questions in. I think probably we can move on 